What's up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately. We're going out, we're doing another Break My Record series. We're out here playing at Black Mountain Golf Club. When we were here last, I think this was the first course that we did our Break My Record series. We were looking to break 85, and we did that. So I think it's appropriate that we try to go out here and break 80. Playing solid golf lately, I think it's doable. 6,200 yards, 71 is the par, uh, and 68 is the overall rating. So it should be doable for us to get to 80. We're gonna kick things off. 350, par four, it's gonna be three wood. Just looking to get something in the fairway. See how we go. Come on, let's go, base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be a little bit short, but it'll be in the middle of the green. So we take those birdie look coming up. You gotta hit it, Alan. That's a hell of a birdie putt. Bad birdie putt, but such is life. We learned our lesson. The greens are pretty hard, but I think they're gonna be pretty receptive with the grains. So that's gonna have to be something we keep in the back of our minds. 477 par five, very short, very scorable. I think it's the easiest hole in the course. There is a little gray outhouse in the distance. The line is gonna be just to the left of that. Depending on how we hit driver, we should be fine. So here we go. I think that's exactly where we said we wanted to go. Run, ball. That'll work. Sit, ball. Sit. That will putt, maybe. Shot. Nope, oh. off the back. Ooh. Yeah, not much I could do with that. Oh, it's got to go a country mile. That was very bad. Give it a chance. All right, a little comebacker. All right, a little windy up here, but after the bogey, we've got a long par three. It's playing about 230, but dead into the fan. I got seven wood. Ah, wow, look at that thing just yeah. draw. Oh, be in that collection of trees. We've got some choices to make here with this shot. These trees are obviously a bit of a problem. I think we're just going to kind of bump and run it down the hill. Hopefully it just settles kind of towards the fringe. There's a plateau where the pin is kind of sitting at here. We don't want to be right. So here we go. Yeah, just settled onto the fringe. Not bad. Three here is a good score. So we get a bogey. Not the end of the world, but this is bakeable. That's a great shot from there. You had nothing to work with. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, hold number four here, two over. We got a 360-ish par four. A little dog leg to the left, elevated green. Cool mountains in the background. It's gonna be driver, just trying to hit a little draw here for us. That should be good. It must be back there. Got 93 yards. Up the hill into the wind. A little 58 degree. That's gotta go 60 yards. Over exaggeration, but it needed to go. Wow. It's one of my favorite holes in the course because you turn around <laughs> and you get to see that. Solid part, get things back on track. Let's keep going. We have another par four coming up, dog leg to the left, driver's too much club. We're gonna hit about a 240 yard shot here with that same seven wood. We're gonna play a draw off of this tree you're gonna see kind of sitting out into the fairway. That'll leave us about 140 in or so. Let's get at it. That gets over, that's gonna be great. I'm not sure. It didn't. Trees? Yeah, I think so. All right, couldn't find it over to the left. I know some of you guys are gonna complain because they didn't go back and re-tee, but you know what? People behind us. We'll just call this hitting four as if this was a provisional. How about that? That is so good. Is it going? Okay. On and right. That was hit perfect. Thank you. 
I got another short par four here. We're gonna play a five hybrid off the tee box. This dog leg left. We're gonna stay kind of just to the right of the cart path line as much as humanly possible. Not that we're trying to cut off too much, just trying to give us something nice and solid in play. Right, we'll take that. All right, we got 91 yards here. Prime real estate, 58 degree. Love to get one back here. Be good to me. Should be, a little right. That's not a great leave. That is not good. That's, we're gonna have some work to do on the back nine. I need to find a birdie before we finish off this front though. Keep the energy up, we got this. We've got a drivable par four here and with a little bit of helping wind, it's playing about 260, 270. I'm gonna take just a full three wood here. <sighs> Gotta get it on, honestly. See if we can do it. Go. Get all the way there. Yes, sir. All right, I got some mud on my ball, so I'm imagining I hit just short and it kind of rolled down to this position. Feels bad, but we had a good luck. We still have it up and down here for birdie. Not exactly the line that I wanted. We really need to get this birdie. I mean, we're fine, we're five over. The back nine is super scorable, but man, I would have loved to have been not plus five. <laughs> It's never fun to be disappointed by a par, but we're disappointed by that par. Par three and a short par four to finish off the front nine. Gotta get a birdie on one of these two. Let's go. All right, par three. Pin's playing about 160. Wind off the right. I'm gonna take an easy eight iron to this. It's too much club, but we're just gonna swing easy. Let's see, get something on the dance floor. Oh my gosh, I just pushed it out to the right. Oh, it's not where you want to be, Alan. Oh no. Oh yeah, we got real lucky here. The club selection was just about right. It's obviously off here to the right, but we're not blocked out. I thought we we're gonna be in these trees, but we're actually in a pretty solid spot. I'm gonna take 54 degree here, play something a little bit lower lofted, try to get this thing to run just a little bit. Gotta get, gotta have par here. If we can save par, that'd be incredible. Slow down. Okay. That's exactly how we wanted to play it. Uphill putt for par. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Zach. <laughs> All right, last hole here in the first part. Short par four. You're not really gonna be able to see the line. There's the, the, the biggest summit of the mountain in front. That's kind of the line with a little draw. You can miss as far right as the second summit to the right. So, got driver against the wind, right into the fan. Nice solid swing. Impressive. About as straight as it could be. Yeah. Well, we got absolutely all of this ball. We are pin high. Maybe got a little bit of help off the car path or something, I don't know, but we are up here. Uh, got just a feel shot. Pin has so much green to play with, so we're going to try to get it most of the way there. Birdie, come on, need it. Really? Whew. Can't be teasing me with these go-ins. <laughs> that would have been sick. Come on! Come on! All right, boys and girls, we're through the front nine, and with that birdie, puts us at four over. Five shots to play with to break 80. Really not bad at all. Again, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you sub right here. Perfectly average golf. We're playing better than average golf right now, at least the last couple of rounds that we've had, so. Perfectly good golf. <laughs> all right, so here we are at hole number 10, and we have a very scorable par three here. It's playing about 129 down to the pin. That's with the adjustment slope. I'm gonna take a 50 degree here, so it should be a nice, easy swing. Let's see, you just, you never know, you never know. Gotta sit. Sit down, Bo. That is over the back. Thinned it. 
talk about your good old-fashioned not ideals. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot it through this gap to the left. I think the green's gonna run a little left to right, so. I don't even, I can't believe we were this long. I don't have the right club for this either. I really need to take loft off this 58. Just get it there. I don't like going up, so. Just gonna punch at it. That is so stupid. <laughs> Imagine. I went right? Yeah. Yikes! Right back to having some work to do. Ay, not great, not great. I just can't believe I thinned the 50 that far over the green. I didn't even see it bounce. Uh, it must have landed close to the street. Go again, par four. We gotta get one back. Line is gonna be up towards this top peak that you're gonna see when the camera starts to come back to us. Nice and straight, nice and solid, nice and easy. Oh my gosh, I did the same thing. I think mine actually stayed a little left to that guy's backyard. That's not ideal, but I think there's a little bit of space over there, so we will see. We are in play, just barely. We've got a gap between these trees. We're gonna punch a six. Can I get behind the tree? Yep. We'll see if we got space. It's the right idea. I just don't know if I have a look. I don't think I do. It's not great news. Not where we wanted to put this, but we still have a look at the green. Same six iron, just trying to finesse it through this gap. Or we can maybe get it on. Yeah, just a touch short. We take that. Or go in. Come on. Yes! That's a scrambly par. Hey, oh, that's a massive chip. Feels good to get lucky once or twice. Hey, uh, this next one's supposed to be about like a 440 par four, but the back box is closed and it's got us playing up where the whites are, which is about a hundred yards difference. Um, we take those. <laughs> so we got driver. We're just gonna try to go right over the left side of this tree you're about to see, and hopefully we'll have another chip and putt here. No, no. That is OB. And that's an overcorrection. <sighs> gotta figure that out quick. Never been down here before. Got a gap that we gotta try to get through. Gotta give this punch some gusto. Hidden four from a really bad spot just underneath this tree. You see it out? Good? Might be in the pine trees on the right. Okay. Let's see if we can get this thing to just land nice and soft. A little too far in the carry. Needs to go. Wow. Top seven. <laughs> Pars and birds the rest of the way. How about that, friends? We can we can do that. That's the thing. We can make that happen. So not great news to start off this pack nine. Again, lots of shots that we can make up, including a very short par three coming up. It pins in a pretty solid spot for it. Let's go. Playing about 95 yards. We saw 58. Saw some good ones from the boys. A couple of darts up there. Let's see if we can replicate. Right. Well, should be there. It's right distance, wrong line. That is just so bad. Yeah, I gotta get it there. All right. We gotta find a way to make some shots back now. Can't boogie a hundred yard par three. It's pathetic. Pathetic. Dead under the fan, par four. Gotta start getting some strokes back here. Not gonna go out too much, just wanna get a nice straight drive. That is gonna go 170 yards. This is stiff. I don't know what you got negative Nancy over here saying he hit the drive 170 yards when it went 280. 
no idea where that came from. Uh, so we got 115 yards. I got 54. I'm gonna try to really get at this one. Give ourselves a chance. Oh, it's just pushed to the right, Alan. Sit, bite, do something. All right, all right. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. All right, driver goes back into the bag for just about, I think, everything from here on out. So we got to just be really good with three wood, seven wood, and four hybrid, I think is all we hit from here on out. Uh, speaking of, par four dog like left, seven wood for me. With how I'm playing this draw with this guy, there's gonna be a little lone tree out in the distance. That's gonna be the aiming line. <laughs> That's gonna be the aiming line and uh, hopefully it just kind of draws for us from there. A little helping wind, don't need to swing too hard at this, just gotta get good contact. Get through. Alan. Might be okay. We're in business. I hit that seven wood pretty hard and it held the line the whole way. I just pulled it left and we are in play. 70 yards. Oh, it's short as hell. Wow, I felt really good about how I hit that. Maybe just a little too light. All right. No way that stopped. How does that stop short? We're pulling it back, boys. Okay, we're doing what we said we needed to do. We should have one back on the par six, pending we play it well. You just never know. Never know. Come on. Right, I got another short par four here. Seven wood's usually fine, but it's a little tight up there. I'm just gonna hit four hybrid, leave myself a little bit longer in with a wedge. Come down that hill now. Cart path, back and forth on the cart path. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah, there's a little curb on it that I saw it bounce off, but it should be fine. All right, so we bounced her out on the cart path and we are here, about 155 yards. With this lie, expecting the ball to draw and a little bit of hurting wind. I'm gonna go to the right side where those fans are with an eight iron. Sit soft, sit soft. We'll see. Oh, stay. stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, it doesn't get there? Yeah. All right, boys and girls, par six, 747 yards. And the weird thing about it is the landing space is so tight where a driver would be that we're gonna hit three wood. It's gonna be two three woods and then an approach shot from there. That's gonna be fine. Should kick left we'll have an opportunity we've got about 200 and some odd yards left we can get up there i've got four hybrid we're just going to go right to the right of this dar this uh, dead tree hopefully get something up there Rod, so right we will see oh it's left Boy, the distance was good. Wow, it's dead straight putt. We got one more to play. 80 is now out of the normal possibility, unless we like a whole lot of eagle 480. Um, but we can still get a birdie here. That's gonna be the goal. Try to get to 81. That'd be fine. I think shooting for 80 was ambitious in the first place. It's just, we don't do that all that often. And boy, did we have a chance at it. It was an adventurous goal. We'll talk more about it when we finish things off. One more hole. All right, 375, par four here to finish things off. 
only need about 210 yards. To stay short of what, there's a road that kind of divides the dog leg the dog from the leg. How does that not turn? Oh my. All right, so that's a 12 over 83. We underachieved from where we wanted, but I think that this is gonna be a really fun upcoming kind of new series to do. Try to break our record or putting in the course, try to go out there and try to break 80. I felt very different as far as how I approach the game today, just trying to break 80. So that's gonna be, I think, an interesting kind of mental switch for us as we're trying to get lower and lower and lower. Getting below 85 seems to be pretty common for us, and now the next goal is to see if we can get ourselves underneath 80 on a more regular basis. A couple of doubles, one triple, never great news. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the content, rooting along all the way through, at least till we got to that par six. We'll be doing more rounds, more break 80 stuff, more break my record stuff, so make sure you sub right along here if you're a perfectly average golfer. And until next point, make sure you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.